Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Auto Rig of Auto Rig Pro uh, and to how to get your characters into uh, Unreal Engine from Blender. Basically, any character mesh, no rigging required, will uh, become a rigged character that you can then use uh, in your Unreal Engine project. So I'm just having fun playing with some Diablo characters, bringing them over into Unreal Engine, and it's working great. Uh, this was a bit of trouble to figure out how to get it to work right, how to get all the settings to work right. So this is going to be a tutorial on how I actually ended up succeeding uh, in doing it. So to kick things off, I'm opening up my Blender project here, and what I've got is just a whole bunch of different character meshes from uh, one of my favorite games, that is Diablo 2. Uh, and I'm just doing some fun stuff here, some fun modding stuff today. And so what I'm going to start out by doing first is, uh, this is sort of uh, geared towards the newcomer. Uh, let's do the Amazon today. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the things that are not a part of the Amazon character to start. Uh, and for some reason, whenever I delete stuff, it just like makes a whole bunch more stuff. It's such a weird, weird program Blender is. Uh, so I'm going to delete that again. Deleting things twice is very nice, and it's the way to do it in Blender for some reason or another. Um, so now I've got my character here, which came with a skeleton already. Now I don't need that skeleton. Uh, so what I'm going to actually do is select all uh, select not. So this is the uh, the rig for the character currently. What I'm going to actually do. Uh, actually, I think I can probably just delete these without any trouble. Let's see. Let's try that one more time. Oh, no, wait. Sorry, I have to X that one. There we go. So that's gone without any trouble. If you notice anything weird happen, happen when you try to delete your rig, uh, what you can do is you select all of the mesh components of your rig, and then you press Control-P, and you go, um, you go to uh, Keep tr uh, Object keep transform I think this one object keep transform I think is what it is and then you should be able to delete your your skeleton without weird things happening without your your rig rather so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that rig the next thing I want to do since I have a whole bunch of varying components to my mesh I didn't have any luck when I tried to uh, rig a whole multi componented mesh so what I ended up doing is I ended up joining all of the meshes together. So basically, all of those like that. Uh, you just go to Object and you go to Join. And now all of your... All of, all of your... Should be... But why is there... Oh, it's such a weird program. It's so weird. Um, yeah, I don't know why... It, has all those extra ones. It's so weird. Uh, there's probably a good explanation for all that. But anyway, now I think I've broke. I've gotten it down to a point where I only have the mesh. That's step one. You only want the mesh. I think I should be probably pretty good here in having just the mesh part. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually what I also have is a spear. I don't need that spear. Let's see if I can get rid of that spear. I'm just going to undo that joining. Undo undo there we go undo the joining see if I can get that spear out individually more undo more undo more undo edit undo maximum undo there's the spear all right let's get rid of the spear let's get rid of the skeleton and from here we should have just a bunch of stuff some hidden stuff, some not hidden stuff. Um, I think I need to delete all this hidden stuff first because that's not really a part of what we're doing. Delete, delete, delete. All this hidden stuff. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, more delete, 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 undelete, undelete. Undelete, undelete, uh, delete. Ticka, 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 ticka. There we go. Delete the stuff. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Um, why do we have multiple? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just a weird way that the texture is displaying in the viewport. There we go. Okay, that actually looks fine. Okay, so 
again, now that I think I have all the objects that I want and only the objects that I want, I think I am safe to now go to join, object, join, there we go. Now we should have a single, there we go, that looks pretty good. Now it renamed itself automatically, so I'm just going to rename that to Amazon. And from here, uh, we can start using the Auto Rig Pro. Uh, you need to install the Auto Rig Pro from Edit Preferences, uh, and then you can just go to Add-ons and install it and import those zip files. Uh, you'll need to do that yourself. Auto Rig Pro, just Google search for it, and it'll be easy to find. It costs 40 bucks for this plugin, I think it was, but it's really cool, works really well. Um, so Amazon is now selected. So I'm going to go to my Auto Rig Pro, and what I'm going to do is go down to Smart Rig and uh, get selected objects. That's because my mesh is selected. It's all grouped into one single object. I'm going to get selected objects, full body, uh, and then it will put me into this view like so. Now what I'm going to want to first do is click here to add neck, roughly positioned around the base of the neck, add chin right around the center of the chin, uh, add shoulders right around this, the shoulders-ish part, uh, add wrists, which will be right around the center of the wrists, add spine root, which will be quite kind of like at the root of the spine. It's for, sort of hard to see here where that is on this character, but I'm going to guess right about there. Add ankles, which will be right about there. And once I've done all that, I can go ahead and click on go right down here, go. Now that will potentially look like it's freezing. It won't do anything. Uh, if you, if nothing happens for a while, even a couple minutes, that's okay. Uh, it's probably still working. At least that's the case. That's what I've noticed a couple times happen. Um, so now once I've done that, all I also now need to do is uh, click on this match to rig part. That's really important. Um, match to rig again, it'll just take a second and now you'll see some of the rigging components have appeared. Uh, so what I'm going to want to do now is go over to the skin section up here and go to object mode and I'm going to want to select my mesh first and then my rig second, which is just click on any one of the little outlining lines to select your rig. Um, and then once you click them in the right order, you should see this option to bind. Now what I ended up using was the voxelized option here. Uh, instead, the heat maps didn't work very well for me, so I used the voxelized one uh, and then you just click bind. Again, now this is sometimes where it can seem to take a minute and you get that little loading error and sometimes if you try to click it seems like it's like not responding. Um, but it's okay, it'll, it'll actually come around. Uh, at least has been my experience. There we go. I've had it I've had it actually sit like that for as much as like two or three minutes and, and then finally work. So if it takes a long time, don't don't fret. it's it's probably fine. So now basically what we've got here is what should be a movable character. So let's switch into pose mode and let's look for let's grab the hat the let's let's grab something obvious. We'll grab the center torso. and when we rotate that, whoop, when we rotate that, yeah, we're get okay. There we go. There's the rotation up and down. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see about the head. Basically, what you want to do here, whoop, yikes, too much rotation. Uh, I think that's rotating the neck actually. Uh, whoa, that's weird. That doesn't seem to be rotating right on mine. Not too sure why that would be. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not. I'm not too sure. That rotation seems weird. Um, let's try some of the other things and we'll test it out in a minute. Uh, let's see, here's the foot area. The foot, yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's see if we can move that up, yep. Sometimes the knee bends backwards. It doesn't seem to matter. Um, it seemed okay when I moved it over to Unreal. But in this case, the knee bends up. The arm's moving pretty good. I think everything's okay. Uh, so the last step here is to go to File, Export, uh, and if if it doesn't quite work for you, you might just need to reposition your po your your points. Maybe adjust the um, what what we did did initially, where we placed the neck, placed the wrist, where, where you placed all those things. You might need to adjust them a little bit and try again. 
Um, but let's assume that it looks pretty good to you uh, on your end, and let's go to File, Export, Auto Rig Pro FBX. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and rename this to Amazon for UE. And what we need to do over here is go to the Unreal Engine. Um, I, I clicked Fix Rig last time. I don't know if it matters or not. I don't think it does. Uh, the next thing you do is you scroll to, uh, where was it? Oh yeah, you want to select the humanoid type here. Rename for UE, mannequin access is on, add IK bones. And I actually used the U4 legacy option. I haven't tried the U5 um, mannequin yet, but it might work. Uh, I'm going to have to try that next, but that should be, that should work there like so. So I'm going to click export on that. And I think that's exported. Um, so there's the sorcerer's character. Now I'm going to try to import the Amazon character. Um, uh, test. We'll just call that one test. And we'll go to right click import to game. And I'm going to grab my Amazon. I'm going to want to select my UE4 mannequin in this case, because I didn't use the UE5 mannequin. I used the legacy UE4 mannequin mm -hmm. as the skeleton. Everything else should be fine. You want to make sure that you have create new materials and that should be okay. FPX loading scene, reassign import, texture clash. So I had a few texture import issues there. But I think that should be okay. There's, yeah, there we go. There's my character. Um, now, if this worked properly, we should be able to, and and this is just a simple texture fix, uh, which you can, which I which I found you can do just by going into the different components of your materials that didn't import and just assigning their their texture map uh, accordingly. If you have this issue with your with white textures, basically on some of your stuff. Basically, the, the material that gets imported has like a white parameter where you might want to actually grab the texture from your texture folder, like the actual, uh, the actual um, what is it called? The, um, the, the base, uh, I forget what it's called, the base. Well, whichever one is the, the, the image, and then just plug that into your base color, and then you should hopefully get your textures. But let's test out the animation because this is my own kind of separate little thing probably you're using your own character so it doesn't really apply um, let's go and figure uh, let's go to characters animations jog forward and now when we swap over to our amazon yeah there we go just works it just works isn't that nice <laughs> all right pretty easy lemon squeezy but like i say follow those steps and you should be okay if you use some of the other um, rigging options you might have issue like for example um, when I used the uh, heat maps which is the default it just it borked up a bunch of stuff so that voxelized option really fixed everything for me uh, and that was the main component that I was having trouble with so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh, see you in the next one